Hey Team Shuckle, what is up? Welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. Today we are battling Freedomion, Freedomion, Freedom Eevee, because, um, you know, he, uh, it's for the LBA, the Lithio Battle Associ Association, and, um, you know, we actually just battled, believe it or not, um, I'm gonna, I can hit battle start. We, we literally just battled and, um, you know, there is a, a clause in the draft, in, in the league, saying that, um, you are not allowed to bring two legendaries, and he actually brought Victini and Landorus, so I, I was in a bit of a pickle there, um, <laughs> so we had a restart, but, um, it looks like he brought pretty much the same team, and I'm actually kind of happy he didn't bring some of the other ones. Uh, Landorus gave me a bit of an issue. I didn't know what to do with it. Um, I ended up finding out through that battle that he was using Choice Band. Um, Choice Band Victini. Uh, but... Man, that trick. But I, I don't know if he kept it. I really hope he kept it because I kept all of my items. Vaporeon. I kept everything except for... Uh, Heatran, I had Clefable over Heatran. I, it, I know it says Clefable there, please ignore that. Just happened. Um, yeah, so it, it had, so yeah. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, last time he started off with, I, I, no, you know what? Last battle did not happen. Uh, looking at his team, my best lead will honestly probably be Heatran. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start, ooh, excuse me. I'm going to start off with Heatran. Um, I brought Victory Bell for a, a couple of purposes, excuse me a while ago. Uh, I brought Pinsir for some things, but it looks like I'm not going to need Pinsir in this battle. Mm, that's unfortunate. Um, but I brought Victory Bell because he has two Glass Types. Um, glass Types. Grass Types. And um, also for Manectric, because I really don't have anything for Electric Types. And it's not good, you know. My, Vic Victory Bell is my only option, and Victory Bell is not very strong. And I think even Scarfed Mega Manectric outspeeds me, and, you know, it has the option to switch. Uh, so he does start off with Manectric again, which is good. Um, now the question is, is he going to see... I mean, he, he only has Excadrill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Earth Power. Um... I don't care if he switches into Talonflame, because, you know, it's a Talonflame. Talonflame can't do anything to me. Um, hold on. I'm just going to type something really quick, so I'm going to be quiet for a second. Um, so, yeah. Um... Yeah, so if he does go for Volt Switch, uh, it's unfortunate. He's gonna break my balloon. I'm not happy about that. Uh, Volt. Th I don't have to right switch. I know. Um. Hmm. Okay. So he does bring in Talonflame. So that's unfortunate. That he will eat up this Earth Power. But really, it's a Talonflame. Um, I'm gonna calc this, but I I'm 99,000% sure that it really doesn't matter. Um, flare blitz thing. Um, ooh, I don't survive Victini's. <laughs> v create, hallelujah. Talon flame. Um, I have no idea which one you are. Uh, let's, for the sheer hope of it, let's just pretend your choice band. That's annoyingly strong. Um, oh, man. Um, okay, um, so... I don't have ancient power on this anymore, do I? No. Um... Honestly, this thing has nothing for me. And I'm just gonna go for Lava Plume. Yeah, he's gonna go for U-Turn. Okay. Uh, he's... I don't know what he, what he might switch into. Uh, but I, I, I figured he'd probably go for either U-Turn or switch out. Uh, it is too late. I already started. 
Okay, so he brought in the Vaporeon. That's that's a little unfortunate. We do get the burn, which is nice. Um, I mean, not super useful, but it, it's nice because it gets some good chip damage off. Uh, now, Vaporeon, I believe, is relatively slow, so I'm either going to predict him to go for Ice Beam, predicting my Victory Bell, which would be a not bad of, a, of an option, um, or, or, is he going to predict? I know he's a good battler, so is he going to predict me to switch into Victory Bell? What would he do? He would go into Victini. That's true. If I do. Or Talonflame. And so far, I've predicted him. So I think my best bet might actually just be to go into Skarmory. Yeah, I'm going to go into Skarmory. Because if that gets burned, it doesn't matter. It can take an Ice Beam, I, I guess, relatively well. Uh, so let's hope. Yeah, he is going to withdraw, so now I'm hoping it's not into Victini. Talonflame. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm good with that. So I'm going to stay in. I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. He's going to go for Flare Blitz. You're definitely not banded, that's for sure. Okay, your Life Orb. Oh, wait, no, that's right. <laughs> That's recoil. Uh, so we do get Stealth Rocks up. Now, I mean, judging by that damage, he could be banded. I don't know why he would be. But what other item could he be running? He could be running Sharp Beak. That's true. Because how much does that do? Flare Blitz does about 114. Yeah, I'm going to say you're probably... You don't have any boosting item, probably, except for Sharp Beak. Um, so you might just go for U-Turn here. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Uh, do, 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 do. You could go for U-Turn, which would be pretty interesting. Or you can go for Flare Blitz, which, again, would be pretty interesting. Do I need... Yeah, I could use you for Excadrill and Weevil. I don't think he's going to U-turn because he's going to get Rocky Helmet damage and then he's going to then he's when he comes back in he's going to, you know, lose to Stealth Rock. So he's not going to U-turn. Um oh jeez. Uh but is he going to go for like Brave Bird or is he going to go for something else? I'm going to go into Heatran. I'm going to go into Heatran because I think, you know, his best play is still to go for um um whatever the move is, Flare Blitz. I definitely think that's his best move. No, he goes for Roost. Okay, so that's actually a, a not that bad of an option either. Uh, I could have gone for Roost myself. Okay, um, so he goes for Roost. I mean, he's probably going to U-turn out here. Oh, I should write down the Roost. Because I don't see him doing any damage, so if he does U-turn out, who's he going to U-turn out into? Vaporeon, probably. And I can't switch out because that would be kind of silly. You, know, you catch my drift. So I'm going to go for Lava Plume. No, he's going to go for Brave Bird. Oh, interesting. Brave Bird. Okay, you're probably Sharp Beak with that damage. Alright. Let's just see. Heatran. I'm going to go for Blank Set. Oh, wow. Yeah, that did a lot of damage, considering. Uh, just pretend we're 252. Uh, f what? No. Okay. Uh, Brave Bird doesn't do that much. Come to think of it. Uh, it does very little. So, well, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Because he could go for Brave Bird again. And I don't really have anything to switch in on that. We could predict. Um, I'm just going to stay in and go for Lava Plume. U-Turn! Okay, I was not thinking U-Turn was coming. <laughs> Do not think. It did not think that I was coming. Okay, so um, I thought he would maybe either go for Brave Bird or just do a hard switch. But I'm trying not to over-predict here. Um, you know, oh, how much did, did I lose there? 
because that'll tell me if you're sharp beak or what. I, I really do think he's sharp beak. Uh, so he's gonna bring in the Vaporeon, yeah, and the Vaporeon. Um, who's just gonna be taking damage, you know, all these switching ins and stuff, which isn't too bad. Uh, so lefties are gonna bring you back over half a bit, but then Burn's gonna take you further down. Cool. Um, I could switch into Victory Bell now, or I could switch into Pincer, and I think Pincer might actually be a better option. So I'm gonna go for it. Is no, is he gonna go for Scald? No, I'm gonna go into. No, I don't want to go into Scrafty. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go to Scrafty. Here, here's my reasoning why. Uh, he could bring in, which call it. He could bring in uh, Talonflame, you know, predicting you know the Victory Bell or the Gengar or anything like that. Um, but the cool thing about this, oh, he goes for Wish. That means he's gonna bring in the Talonflame, right? He is gonna bring the Talonflame in here, or he's gonna protect. If I can get enough chip damage off onto whatever he brings in. So, so far we've damaged pretty much the Talonflame the most. Um, so I'm going to go for a Drain Punch. So if he does bring it, oh no, he's going to protect. Okay, that's not too bad because it's Vaporeon, so it's really not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to go for another Drain Punch. Because I think that's really my only option. I might as well write Wish down. I don't wish and protect. I mean, I'm not doing too terribly. Uh, considering it's been a 10 minute battle. And um, so far, I haven't lost anything. And, you know, I also have to consider he is one of the better uh, battlers so far that we've battled. So, he's going to burn me. Yep. I have the most unfortunate hacks with burns, uh, with Scald. Scald always burns me. Always. And that is why I'm gonna lose. Okay, um... What's he gonna do now? I don't think he's gonna stay in. So I'm just gonna go for another another drain punch because I'm predicting like him to bring into Talonflame here. Uh, maybe I, I I don't know. So he does withdraw. What does he go into? Thor. Okay, so that's the Manectric. That's not too terrible. It's not gonna do a lot of damage because now I'm at negative three, but I'm fine with the damage. Um, he's I think he's waiting for an opportunity to switch in the Vaporeon to get a wish off. Um, he's probably going to switch, Volt Switch. I really wish I had a gr ground type. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Victory Bell here. And um, we'll take the Volt Switch and we'll bait him into going into the Talon Flame or the Weavile. Um, or the Victini, I guess. Uh, he, no, he goes straight for Thunderbolt. Let's see how much that does. That doesn't do a lot. Okay. Um, so, I have Sludge Bomb, which I don't really want to go for. Uh, we've got Talon Flame in the back. Okay, so wait, let me just write down that AST Bolt. Uh, he's got, what, he, he could Volt Switch here. That is true. Um, prefer him to Volt Switch. Uh, what I'm going to do is I can either go for Sludge Bomb or Leaf Storm. Now, he's got the Talon Flame who quad resists it. He's not going to bring the Vaporeon because I have no reason not to go for Grass Stab. Um, I don't think he's going to bring in the Excadrill. He's probably going to bring in the Victini, so I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb. Oh, he has Flamethrower. Okay. Well... This is why I need a better electric counter. I'm gonna get on that right after this. I, you know, I, I just I see no reason for victory bell. All right, so um, oh, nobody has flamethrower. I can't I can't beat this thing. 
Let me see something. Um, let's go for Mega Manectric. Overuse Special Attacker. Timid, most definitely. And let's bring in Regular Pincer. I'm curious to see something. Can I take a Flamethrower? Flamethrower. I can't. God damn it. What do I do? Um, but I can take a T-Bolt. Not well, but I can take a T-Bolt. Okay, let, let's think about this for a second. Let's bring in Gengar. Let's see what Gengar can do. Gengar. We're 252 special attack. We have no HP investment. And we have life orb. Oh, <laughs> level 100. That's not right. Uh, so Shadow Ball does a lot of damage. And his Thunderbolt cannot take us out. So, so far we know he has three moves. He could have overheat. But so far none of those take us out. So I'm going to go for Gengar. And Gengar should take it out with a Shadow Ball. But, eh, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Whatever. Is that the right play? I mean, I can't take it back now, but he could bring in the Weavile here. Which would be pretty bad because it gets Pursuit. Um, I wonder how much a non-fleeing Pursuit would be do from a Weavile, who, let's just pretend your max attack and life orb, knockoff does a lot, but they don't seem to have pursuit, so he does go for Volt Switch, I'm assuming you're going to switch into the Weavile, and if you do, I'm going to be so upset, I'm going to be so upset, please tell me it's not the Weavile, I mean, granted, Shadow Ball's going to do like 40 damage, so it's really 40%, so it's not terrible, and we'll break any sashes, and plus it has to take um, Stealth Rocks damage on the way in. So overall, it's not terrible for us, um, but the only issue is if he has Pursuit. And we definitely don't outspeed it, uh, we're just shy of that. So do you think he has Pursuit? If he does, it will chaos, KO us. Um, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring in Scrafty. Cause no matter what, I can't stay in. Oh, he doesn't have pursuit. Thank God. Cause this this won't do a lot unless he goes for low kick, which still that probably won't do too much. Knock off. Okay, that's not terrible. We'll just lose my leftovers, which really isn't a bad deal. Um, and it's life orb. Okay. So, let's see. Drain punch incoming. Very obvious. Um, he could go for the low kick, which could potentially kill us. Um... He can't bring in the Talon Flame, so I I'm really honestly just gonna go for Dra Drain Punch. He's gonna bring in the Victini. Uh, I can pretty much just assume that that's his best play, because if he brings in Talon Flame, regardless of the burn, he's gonna go down. Um, oh, I forgot about the Manic Trick. Oh, uh, but that's not too terrible. I'm at negative three, but that's really not that bad. We'll still do a decent chunk. Yeah, that's good enough for me. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that damage. Um, the burn, um, I don't have a switch into this thing, uh, I'm just gonna stay and go for Drain Punch. I, I don't have anything for Manectric, that, that's really my only issue. Yep, that's game. I, I have literally nothing for this Manectric. I could try Pincer. we could try Pincer. And I can either Mega Evolve and hope... Well, let's see. Let's see. Mega Manectric, Overuse Special Attacker. Let's see, 50. And let's go for Mega Pincer. Okay. So let's look at this. You don't have Overheat, you have Flamethrower. Flamethrower does not take us out, but Thunderbolt does.
Is he gonna go for Thunderbolt or is he gonna go? Well, he gets Stab, so I think he's gonna go for Thunderbolt. In which case, I'm staying in. I'm not Mega Evolving, and I'm going for Earthquake. He goes for Volt Switch. Okay, so not terrible. We're not we're not gonna really eat that up. But if he does bring in the Victini, um, I'll be happy with that. I'll be very happy with that. But he's gonna bring in the Talonflame. Let's be real here. Um, yeah, he's gonna bring in the Talonflame. That's really his best play, in my opinion. I, I could be wrong. Uh, but if he brings in, like, the Vaporeon, we're in a pretty good position. Uh, if he brings in the Excadrill, who has Air Balloon, we're in a bad position. Uh, if he brings in the Victini, I'm very happy position. <laughs> so, I I'm curious, because, you know, he saw that I didn't Mega Evolve, because I wanted to take that electric move, that Volt Switch most likely would have killed me. It had a 81% chance. I don't want to tempt fate with that. Uh, so, he brings in the Vaporeon who actually is probably not going to want to take this at all. Okay, so it did want to take it. Um, curious. I think a return would take it out. I think a return would take it out. But we need the speed boost, so I'm going to Mega Evolve and go for a return because we do need that speed boost. And the reason we need that speed boost is outside of the Manectric, we need it for the Victini, which he's he's not going to bring in any of those things. He's going to either bring in the Talonflame or the Weavile after this, uh, but but at least we we got one. And it's not a 6-0. I'm fine with that. So KO. Um, yeah. So he could bring in the. Honestly, if he brings in the Talonflame, the Talonflame goes down. Unless he goes for a Roost, of course, which would be next level stuff. But we'll see what he brings in. Because as long as they get rid of the Weavile and Talonflame, I can pretty much handle the Victini with my Pinsir or the Excadrill. So he brings in the Excadrill. Is this Air Balloon? It's not Air Balloon. Okay. So it's not Air Balloon. Um... I'm gonna look up something really quick. Smoke on. I wanna see what the more common spread is. The way he brought it in makes me believe he is scarfed. So let's see. It could be assault assault vest, which would be interesting. I don't think he will be. Although he could be, that is true. He could be choice banded, which will outspeed. Or he can be Scarf, which we won't outspeed, and he'll take us out. So, what we can do is we can see real quick, Excadrill. Let's just assume you're the bulkier one, right? I think, I think that's a fair enough assumption. Earthquake nearly takes it out. Oh, but we got the Stealth Rocks damage. Right? Wait, how come that does nothing? How come that changes literally nothing? Why does that change nothing? That should 100% change something. Okay, it is not changing anything. Um, I think you're going to be Scarf, so my best bet here is to switch into my Skarmory. Uh, which will let me get a Roost up if... You know, he has Scarf and he locked himself into whatchamacallit. Um, I'm gonna assume you're, you're Scarf. You're gonna be Scarf in my book. And Rock Slide. So now, here's the thing. He could spam it. So I'm gonna go for Roost. He is gonna spam it. Now, if we don't flinch, we should take this. Oh my! <laughs> oh my god! Why? Why would that happen? Really? Oh my god, that was my chance! Oh, that was my chance, man. That was my chance! Don't anything. Come on! Every match, something like that happens. 
trying to think. What can I do? He's just gonna do Rock Slide again, because he's no reason not to switch out. Right? Because it's gonna take me out. So, obviously he's not gonna switch out. But, I don't have anything to take it. I have absolutely nothing to take that Rock Slide. Going to Heatran, but Heatran's not gonna take it. I could stay in and go for Roost. Yeah, no, he's gonna take me out. That's really annoying. You know, like, I understand it's part of the game, and I'm not gonna complain about it because that is what happens. I'm gonna bring my Heatran, but it's just like, it always happens to me at such clutch moments because I went for Roost there. We got most of my HP back, uh, would have been at least a little, like, one HP over half. He would have had to either go for Rock Slide again or switch out because he's clearly he's scarfed. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for Lava Plume. I need to get rid of this thing. And he's just going to keep going for Rock Slide. I feel like I should survive that. I do. Ah, oh, sweet. Thank you. Um, but he's not, he's, he's clearly not, uh, Scarf or Sash. So he is dead, so I am glad I at least took that out of the way. But we still have a bit of an issue. Um, he's got the Talonflame, he's got the Manectric, he's got the Weavile, and he's got the Victini. He's got two sets, two instances of priority. So pretty much my entire team goes down to that priority, especially since it's super effective for the most part. But he will take himself out so I think if I want to play it a bit safe I'm gonna go for earth power hear me out either way something goes down um, so I'm thinking what he's gonna do is because obviously you know he Tran really can't touch the talon flame I think he's gonna go for roost and the reason why I think he's gonna go for roost is because he needs the talon flame for pretty much the rest of my team he, he wants that priority and um, you know he didn't ice shard the Gengar in the beginning when I didn't have that much um, HP so I think it's sort of safe to assume he maybe doesn't have priority on his Weavile. So, say he goes for Roost here. If we go for Earth Power, we take him out. Yes, I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. I know it. Because th now that sort of just makes me think that he doesn't have any priority on his Weavile. So think about that for a second. He has no priority on his Weavile. He wouldn't want to preserve the Talonflame in a position where he knows he can easily take out my Heatran with one shot and then have Weavile on the back with Ice Shard to take out my Gengar and my Pinsir. So here's, here is what I'm thinking. He does not have priority. But we still in a bit of a position. Um, he's not going to go for Volt Switch. Because if he goes for Volt Switch, our return from our Pinsir will take him out. So... While we did predict that relatively well, and I'm going to give myself a pat on the back for that, we're not out of the water yet. We still have his Victini, which Gengar outspeeds, so I need to preserve Gengar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in, I'm going to go for that very flashy Earth Power. If he goes for Volt Switch, I'm going to be so happy. He doesn't go for Volt Switch. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We do still have Quick Attack. I'm still in a bad position, but I'm going to bring in Pinsir here. I don't think this will take it out, but Manectric isn't the fastest thing in the world. So, no, it's not the strongest defensively, so we're gonna hope for the best. Now, if he switches out, that's gonna be weird, but uh, whatever. So we get the quick attack off, and oh, it's not enough, so that's game right there. But I am very, very happy with myself for deducing the rest of his team. I think that was cool. I like that. That was fun. I, I like I like that I was able to do that. I'm really happy about that, actually. 
I'm gonna ask him afterwards if he does have Ice Shard on his Weavile, because if, if he did, then I'd be like, what the hell are you doing, man? Uh, so I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball, let's hope he misses his Thunderbolt, let's go for this. No, he's not gonna miss it, it's a Thunderbolt. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. Um, but you know what, 3-0 is not terrible. Um, good game. Does your Weavile have Ice Shard? the important question so thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i hope to see you guys at the next episode peace